The following amateur welterweight bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his debut tonight. Weighing in at 170.4 pounds and proudly representing SBG Manchester, Luke Smith. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 170 pounds and proudly representing 4th Dimension MMA, Callum Haslam! Your referee in charge, Simon Stanitsky. All right, we've got Luke Smith in the blue corner with a black shorts, Callum Haslam over here in the red corner, also wearing black shorts, black and red, we'll say here tonight. Ref claps him in, here we go for another contest here at FCC 35, Ooh. starting off fast there for Callum, all forcing that level change already, nice kind of reaching there. a little too much, but that's a lovely leg kick he possesses there, chops out that lead leg of Smith. Oh, oh, that is a lovely kick. Oh, man. You can hear that going all throughout the yeah. Olympia. Callum's quite a compact welterweight here, and you can tell part of that is in those thighs right there, Jason, with those big leg kicks. It's a Muay Thai, but he's got to be careful of the neck right here. Luke oh. has managed to wrap over the top. If he can join the hands together, which he has done. Oh, he might have this. Going for that high guillotine right there, the power guillotine, trying to crank it up. And looks like he's really struggling, but he's picked him up oh, right now. Danger. If he can lock the legs together. this Oh, he's giving a thumbs up to the referee right now, but this is a real tough position oh, for Callum. Really Luke's staying. Look how calm Luke is right here as well. He can, he, if he wants, he can pull guard. We'll see if he wants to try and get that standing guillotine right there as well. But it's about popping that head out, getting that chin on the inside, trying to break the grip with the hands, doing whatever he can to create space on leverage on that neck. Yeah, importantly, the referee, and we can see it from our angle here oh. as well can see his eyes, can see that he's fully conscious here. Sometimes that's a danger with these positions, particularly when it's against the cage. You can't really see that. And uh, you end up with John Jones Machida is what you end up with. Yeah, you do. But this is a tough spot now for Luke because how much more does he commit to this choke? Does he start squeezing again? He's controlling his breathing, but if you're going to keep wrenching on this you, and you can't get yeah. it, and there he's about to break that grip. You can see the left hand is getting involved on the inside. Looks like Haslam is trying to pull the hand away. He's trying to communicate to the ref. I think that he was hit in yeah, the maybe a cup low there, there as well, but going to have to keep fighting. If the ref doesn't break it up, it's not your job to stop the fight, unfortunately, for Callum right there. He's got to work his way out of this position and there. Strips the hands, but he's got to get his head out there, Jason. Yeah, it's uh, wise for Luke to let go of that. Uh, like you said, he could tire out his arms. Could become a, a liability for him if he holds on to that for too long. And here we are. And he got that position back because he had that left underhook and he swam that. As soon as they broke from that position, Luke kind of had a good spot, but immediately the swim from Callum, he got the underhook, drove him straight back to the cage, and now he can control from a much better position and get a bit of payback for Luke cranking on his neck like that. Yeah, solid composure from, from both men here, but especially to see Haslam get out of that submission. Oh, here he is lovely. The trip. Outside and reap. Oh, oh, the wizard over the top. And he can attack a Kimura right here as well. I like how many submissions Luke is already looking to try and lock in. The drive, drive, drive as he's trying to finish this single leg is in a tough spot. Again, this is good strength from Callum. The yeah. sprawl all the way to the cage. Wow. Is he going to drop a double? But look, he's getting his head wrapped up again right here. <laughs> We're going to see a repeat of before. Keeping his chest nice and high this time as well. Digging the hips in towards his opponent, keeping that posture up. Oh, the right hand from Luke and the head kick on the break. But what a first round here. I mean, this is just back and forth grappling and it's already over. It's a natural inclination to want to get a bit of revenge in that situation. So there's oh. that leg kick again. And the Snapping. redness on the thigh of Luke just from a couple of them. He's going for a flying yeah. front kick there as well. Nice right hand from Luke though. Oh, lovely work from Luke. Oh, oh. spinning back fist right there as well. Got to be careful, it's not an elbow. Beautiful jump a second time with those throws. And now Callum attacking the neck of Luke. Can he get the hands together is the question. Right arm is involved there in the underhook of Callum, so that's going to make it hard, and he gives up on the gear team wisely. Good head pressure now as he tries to swim. Again, doing a good job with these underhooks is Callum, and that's what got him to win these clinch exchanges in the first round. So let's see if Luke can address that this time. We can see here just on commentary on our side, it's hard to see on camera, but there's a massive welt on Luke Smith's Ooh, yeah, leg. So thigh. he doesn't want to take too many more of those. And right now, Haslam also has the control against the cage. 
Yeah, these wizard kicks from Luke. There's another one right here. If he steps across with the right leg, he's already hit two of them this fight. We'll see. He's got the overhook with the right arm. Let's see if he hits that wizard kick again there. Callum trying to drive in with the head, keep himself pressed in, push the hips in towards Luke as well. Keep him on the cage, but also stop him from stepping across and elevating him over the top. And this has been a lot of knees to the thighs as well from Callum from this position. It's not just these leg kicks, it's this constant attack to the legs that will slow down Luke and make it harder to do things like set up these throws over the top as well. Unfortunately, it's not a lot of damage, Jason. That's the only problem. Yeah, what it is is it's composure. It's really smart gameplay. Oh, Ooh, look nice. at that right hand on the break. See, he's waiting for a spot, waiting for an opportunity. I love the jab of Luke Smith, though. Doubles up on it nicely, it's real slick, and he puts combinations behind it, almost timed that right hand there on another leg kick of Callum, who's really looking forward to them, and now pushing, looks like a little bit of fatigue's coming in, and that uppercut is surely going to find a home if he keeps looking for it, back in this clinch position, another under over, and we'll see who gets the best of this battle. Yeah, it looks like there's a really nice contrast in styles. We see a lot of kicks coming from the way of Haslam, where Luke Smith is sticking to a lot more of the crisp combinations. And at times it's looked really bad, but then we'll see a spinning back fist back from Haslam. So uh, lots of variety here once it gets on the feet. And the cage control is all about trying to take it into out of their arena and really taking control of the fight. Oh, literally, by doing good this. takedown defense right there from Luke, who's landed on top. If he can rotate, he can take this backside position work from there. But oh, 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 great job by Callum. Not to give that oh, up as well, nice both these the guys. And this right hand on the break again we see from Callum. This has been all him this round. Luke's let the hands go, but not landed anything clean. But, oh, the gas tank. Is it still there for Callum as he takes another left hook and just drives Luke back into the cage? Yeah, we're starting to see the pace slow down considerably. And it's been a grapple-heavy kind of grind. Oh, that left and leg. That, yeah, just and he is kneeing him in that leg, leg, Jason, right in that left leg. We can see it, the well is there. Yeah, Nasty if one. you go by Luke winning the first due to that extremely long submission attempt, it just depends on how much you want to weigh that. The leg, leg kicks, kicks landed again. two of them already, and you guys might be able to see it here. It's really hard to catch on yeah, camera because it's so low. It's really going to take away that nice double jab as well. But Luke, who doesn't seem to be affecting too nice much, drops to his Luke. knees to try and complete the takedown. But luckily enough, he was quick enough to get back to the feet there, otherwise that could have ended badly. Luke trying to put the hands together here as well, find the openings around the holes in the guard of Callum, who's again slowly pushing his man to the fence, and there we go, going to re-engage oh, nice in this clinch. I don't know if he tried to knee him to the head there, because that's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, can't do but that. Okay. Maybe to the sternum, who knows. Can he finish this double leg? Got the hands locked. Luke heavy on the top, trying to lay down some pressure. Switches now to try and strip oh, nice that back work. leg. Lovely work there by Callum Bark. Can Luke still come over the top right here? Could try a chest wrap. Looks like Callum's going to... And this is where you can't stop if you're Luke because Callum is going to settle and lock you down more and more. There you go. Base up on the map. Great job by well Callum. Done. But he has to go again right now. He can't rest in this situation. Yeah, he absolutely has to fight to get back to the feet because, like we said, he could be down two rounds, potentially has one round. Either way, if he loses this round, it's over in terms of the decision. Ooh, knee oh, to the body. knees to the body. Callum very good with his knees in this fight. Knees to the leg. Oh, lovely Nature. outside reap. Luke now on top. Elevation from Callum, though, and he's got the underhook. Great work, and he's going to transition to the single. That's beautiful stuff there from Callum. Really good job. Luke's been able to get these takedowns, but when it came to the actual grappling in this fight, Callum was able to reverse all of these positions with his wrestling attacks. Oh, beating up the body there. That's a nice work from Luke. So well matched. Staying heavy on top. Oh, I love that. Shots yeah. to the Jeez. side here. You just hear that thud. And it's all about the damage. Here. Tries to hit the switch to get out, pick out the side here again, just crawling his way to these takedown attempts, but still able to posture up. Lock up an arm here of Luke, but he's going to drive him to the cage with that underhook. One minute left in this fight. You've got to be giving this round to Callum. Luke's got to do something big if he probably wants to take this. Tries another trip. But yeah. Callum says no this time. Some grueling work against the cage here. And both men, you can see it. Ooh. You can absolutely see it. And there's lots of body work that's been done as well. He tried to go for a knee to the body. Another knee to the leg for Haslam. Anybody's contest here. Oof. The last 30 seconds. Anybody can take it. Callum still shooting, takedown, sliding across the mat, trying to complete this single leg. Hands aren't locked together, so you've got to feel like Luke's going to be fine to get back to the feet. Looks like he's going to set up a dust choke here, but no, gets himself out. 
Callum still got the energy to get back up. It's kind of oh. impressive. Right hand lands. Ten seconds left. Can Luke pull something off? Another leg kick from Callum. <laughs> Big right hook. <laughs> miss. Barely misses right there. Oh, a side kick to just keep himself distanced. And there we go. Three nice rounds work. between these nice two men. Work. The judges have reached a split decision. Your winner. In the red corner, Callum Hasler!